Welcome to the 13-inch MacBook Pro Touch Bar Take a Bar Guide. First, remove the six Penelope screws from the bottom pan. Then, using a flat tool or a suction cup, lift up on the sides of the bottom pan to unsnap the clips. And then slide the bottom pan forward, away from the hinges, to take it off. And then to unplug the battery, you will need to remove the plastic tape covering the battery connector. Then unplug the small flat cable from the logic board. Next remove the large T5 screw from the battery connector. And then lift up on the contact cable. Next, unplug all of the visible cables from the logic board. and then remove the T3 screw from the shield located here. And then unplug the cable connector. Now remove the two T3 screws from the left I.O. board connector. And then lift it up and flip it over to unplug it. Remove the two T3 screws from the cable shield located here. Then remove the shield and unplug the cable. Now remove the two T3 screws from the trackpad cable shield. And then lift up on the cable to unplug it. Now remove the two T3 screws from the keyboard cable shield. And then remove the shield and unplug the cable. Now remove the two T3 screws from the right I.O. board connector and then lift up on the cable to unplug it. Next remove the T3 screws from the shield that's located here. and then remove the shield and unplug the cables. Using a flat tool, gently lift up on the power button cable. Next, remove the T3 screws and take out the clutch covers. You will then need to take out the T5 screws and the T3 screws from the logic board.
Next, remove the T3 screws located here from the shields that are covering the display cable. And then unplug the display cable from the display. And then you can lift up on the logic board to remove it. To remove the fans, you'll need to take out the T3 screws from the mounts. Next, unplug the fan and remove it. Follow the same procedure for the left fan. Now remove the two T5 screws holding down the I.O. board and remove it. And then follow the same procedure for the left I.O. board. To take out the trackpad, you will need to remove the T5 screws located here. Separate the trackpad cable from the battery and then the trackpad will be loose from the top case. And then if you need to remove the trackpad cable, you can lift up on the lock mechanism and pull the cable out. You can now unplug the touch bar cable located here. and then using a T1 or a T2 screwdriver, remove the screw located here. Now lift up on the cable to separate it from the top case and use a flat tool to gently pry it up. Now by using a flat tool, you can gently pry up on the microphone cable assembly. Be careful in taking this cable out as it can be easily torn. Next, remove the two T3 screws from the headphone board assembly. And then use a flat tool to gently pry up the headphone board to take it out of the top case. Now remove the T3 screws from the display controller board.
and then by using your T1 or T2 screwdriver, remove all the screws that are holding down the antenna board assembly. Now remove the T5 screws from the display controller board assembly. You can then remove the antenna assembly. Next, to take out the display, you will need to have it in the open position and then remove the three T10 screws from each hinge. Once the screws have been removed, you can then take off the assembly. To remove the power button thumbprint reader, you will need to take out the T3 screws from around the bottom of the assembly. and then guide the flex cable through the top case to remove the power button. 